What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be biking to the moon. I haven't been here for a while so welcome back and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. And I'm gonna be honest with you I am not wearing the right shoes for this. <laughs> I got my hey dudes on but you know what we'll work with it and uh, we'll just have to bike like that. So as you can see, the locals call it the moon because of this landscape and this white rock that gives it that look. But what is this rock and where did it come from? It is a result of limestone and dolomite from the once existing factory nearby. The factory was used to produce products for local farms. Over the years, the waste from the two types of stone piled up right along the river, compressing and hardening to what is seen now, standing at 20 feet tall. And if you look behind the white cliffs, beyond the railroad tracks, you can still find the quarry factory, which is now in ruin, where it was a part of the now abandoned town of Billmeyer, which we will save that for another video. And beyond that factory is the quarry, which is now filled up with water. Now, the White Cliffs are a tourist attraction. Some would call it one of the world's first solid waste attraction for many people going by it on the Northwest Trail along the Susquehanna River in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which has many access points for bikers and walkers from Columbia, Marietta, Rowena. But the closest point to the cliffs is Kozer Park in Bainbridge, Kanoi Township. So where did the name the White Cliffs actually come from? Well, it actually stems from across the pond in the UK, where the White Cliffs of Dover reside that look similar to the ones in Kanoi Township. Okay, so a little fun fact. Right where these rocks are is where I asked my wife to marry me. And if you see over here where it gets all hazy around the trees in the water, that's from the Canada wildfires right now and it is not good the air quality in Pennsylvania is terrible honestly I don't even know if I should be outside right now but I'm gonna have to eventually to go to work or to do something grocery store whatever but you, know, you gotta take risks sometimes I guess so whatever so just to do this for your entertainment I'm actually gonna go out in the water so, take my socks off here, pull this up. I'm gonna see how cold it is. I'm not gonna get too far out, but. Okay, I forgot here. 
you can actually get in the water over here because it's not that deep. It gets about three feet. Draws off a little bit right there, but you can probably go all the way out there and get your feet a little bit wet. But it feels good. It's actually not that bad. Tootsies are nice and uh, cold, but it feels nice. All right, the cliff all the way down to the water. And it is beautiful over here, especially on a clear day. Unfortunately, because of the wildfires, it is hazy. But I gotta tell you what, I am glad to be back making videos. I haven't done it in a while. But if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Give me a like button down there for this video. And the notification button so you can see more videos that I post when I post it. And I hope you have a great night or day and I'll see you on the next video.